I'm at 114 Southeast 18th Street. That is East Oak Island Drive. And then this dead ends to the Davis Canal, so it's very quiet down here. This is what the street looks like. It's really cute. So let's go in and take a look. These are high pilings, so you could get a tall boat under here. It's got plenty of space underneath the house with a small storage unit. So we're gonna go in here and take a look real quick. That's your water heater. And then back here, like I've always said, you have to have an outdoor shower when you're at the beach. It does have hot and cold running water. And a pretty decent sized backyard. Look at that beautiful tree. There is a staircase in the back that goes up to a screened in porch. Let's go upstairs and take a look. So this is an extra wide staircase, which is a great bonus. And the front porch is wide as well. So you can fit chairs up here and still walk by them comfortably. It was your view. And then check out this ceiling. Ooh la la. And as we walk in, we walk into an open concept, but there is a designated areas, which I think is nice. In the living room, you'll find tug and groove vaulted ceilings, quarter sawn oak floating shelves. It has a fireplace. They've done a great job with the selections in this house. I am in love. Here is your designated dining area, which you could easily fit a larger table. This is all wood custom cabinetry, quartz countertops. Soft clothes, stainless steel GE appliances. So you have your range hood here and then your microwave built in. This island can comfortably fit six and it does have shiplap. This back here is where all the bedrooms are. There are four bedrooms, two baths. The closets have wood shelving, which is great. There is LVL flooring throughout the house. So this is, we'll call this bedroom four. Your standard size closet. And this would be the main bathroom that the three bedrooms would share. It does have a door in between the shower and the rest of the bathroom. So that allows for a little privacy and multi-use. So it goes back out to the hallway. This is your shower, tile all the way to the ceiling. And then bedroom three.
It's got great natural lighting. And again, a pretty good size closet. Now this takes you to the, the back of the house. So this door goes out to the screened in porch. We're gonna go back around so you can kind of get a feel of the layout. Hey! So hallway. Bedroom two. Back out to the hallway is where you will find your laundry room. It's a pretty good size, I will say that. And then it does have the built-ins. So you have some shelving and then a cabinet and then a little hanging space. And then back here on the left is the owner suite, which has a little extra touches. And the fans in here are great. They've, they're upgraded. A barn door. And check out this owner's closet. And nice windows again. And then the owner's bathroom. Again, it looks like some good tile work. Hey! Then we're gonna go back out to the hallway. So this is the, it's the living room, just trying to give you your bearings. And then this is the back hallway, which has a drop zone. It's cute. And then this is the door that goes out to the screened in porch, which is a great size. I'm in love with these ceilings. Can't you imagine having an evening cocktail or morning coffee out here? And then here are the steps which go out to the backyard right behind the shower. So you can take a shower and then come up the back steps. So let me know what you think.